What's going on guys, MJ Louder here, and today I'll be coming at you with my LEGO Raynault FT-17. Let's get into the video. There's a Minifig Co. Panzer Commander in the front of the tank to show scale. I think it looks pretty good. You can purchase the torso of that figure on the minifigco.com. So go check that out, that's awesome. And let's move on to the actual vehicle. So the FT-17 that I built actually has some pretty crazy techniques and details into it that I think you guys will find pretty cool. So to start out, you can see the back here, it's got these wedge plates angled and they're actually just sitting there. There's nothing holding them together. They just sit nicely because of the studs on the bottom right here. They kind of just like align with it, and as long as you don't hit it too hard, they don't actually go anywhere, which I thought was pretty ingenious. And on this side, you guys can actually see, I, I made it camo. I designed this little, little brown speck on the other side of the tank. I think it's pretty cool. I didn't want to add like too much. I didn't want to, you know, add any other colors. I thought just the brown looked good. Maybe I'll add like an olive streak or something on the other side later on but for now I'm, I'm satisfied with the brown on to the front you can see the wedge plates these two by three wedge plates very expensive piece not easy to get a hold of um, but I have a lot but I kind of whore Lego in general like all the tan parts and all the old dark gray so something that's that's rare to somebody else I I probably have a couple of them, or a lot of them, but it's whatever, <laughs> I guess. And the track area looks looks nice. I wanted to get all nine road wheels on the bottom and create the angling of the top with, with the tiles. I thought that was pretty cool. This 1x6 is just, again, stuck in there by friction. There's nothing holding it together but it's not gonna not gonna go anywhere and there you can see secrets revealed there's the underneath of the tank I just use the bracket pieces to hold the studs together and the back wheel is attached just by a hinge plate and then I angled it so it's got like the proper amount of height compared to the road wheel and the front wheel is just a piece of flex hose attached to a uh, one by one Technic brick I think yeah that sounds about right and that's just held in on the wedge plates the turret was a little bit more tricky to accomplish because I wanted to get all of the angles right because it's such a weird looking turret and it's like so small and compact but it's still like kind of rounded so I went with making the sides and the front snots which means studs not on top so I just laid bricks sideways for that and then for the top I had to like lay plates on it somehow so what I actually did is the two by two wedge plates up top are not attached to the rest of the turret. The turret is built on a one by one cylinder and then this fits on like that and the rest of the turret you can see just fits around it. I used a Technic pin to attach these two sides together and that way you can get studs on both sides and it it matches nicely so then there's a one by one spot for a hole that just sits on there and there we go just like that the turrets back together so I thought that was pretty cool it took me a couple tries and a little while to figure that out but once I kinda got like the main idea down for the turret it, it rolled pretty nicely it kinda 
it just came naturally I guess that's about it for this video guys I do hope you enjoyed as always please like comment and subscribe you guys can go check out my Flickr it's MJ Bricks or MJ Louder if you type in either of those my account should still come up and also go check out the minifigco.com they are really awesome we've got a lot of stuff coming and you should definitely check out that website and buy some prints I'll see you in the next one. Peace.